All right, thank you everybody. My name is Nora Bloom, I'm with Travel Leaders. And today I have Rebecca Aiken from Viking, who's gonna to talk to us all about the world of Viking, Viking rivers, Viking ocean, Viking expedition. I'm just really excited to hear about it all. If you do have any questions during the presentation, go, you know, you can put it in the chat. I'll be watching for that and we can answer questions at the end. But I wanna turn it over to you, Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you so much, Nora. As Nora said, I am Rebecca. I am with Viking. I, I've been with Viking here just honestly just a little over three months, but I've known of, of the company for obviously a very, very long time. This is our 25th anniversary um, in this year, so we're celebrating a lot of different things this year, and I'll mention a few others later on as well. I am just a little background on me. I've been in the travel industry a little over 10 years, and I've been working with Travel Leaders Market Square for quite some time. I love all the advisors. They are absolutely amazing. They are very well traveled and you're in good hands with all your advisors there at Market Square. So without further ado, I'm just going to go through a few things with, um, that's new with Viking, some top itineraries and places to see, things to do and some tips along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. The, Vi the Viking difference is really that we're destination focused, culturally enriching, excuse me, and carefully curated itineraries. Now with that, we sail all around the world. We have 80 river ships, now 10 ocean ships. We started ocean in 2015, our small ocean ships. We now have two expedition ships as well as one Mississippi. So I'll be going through each of those different ships here um, and kind of the top itineraries as well here shortly. But as this, this slide mentions too, we are on seven continents. 96 countries, 466 ports, five oceans, 20 rivers, and now also the five Great Lakes. So yes, our ships are now domestic. They come through the Great Lakes, uh, through Canada, and goes to Duluth as well. So you can hop on our ship up in Duluth as well. So Oh, without further ado, I'm going to go go ahead and also mention, sorry, with um, with those 466 ports, Viking is known because of our small ships, whether it's ocean, expedition, river, Mississippi, because our ships are so small, they can get into these ports, get closer to the ports. I won't be talking necessarily specific to our France itinerary, but we specifically designed our Seine class ships to, to literally so we could pull up so you could see the Eiffel Tower right but right where we dock you, it's literally within walking distance to the heart of heart to the heart of paris so that is just one example of what viking has done um, to really make these destination destination focused itineraries to get you closer to to all of your the cultural cultural the cultures and that sort of thing as you sail all right now, our promise to you, no matter where we travel, we travel in, if you go to Europe, Asia, the Great Lakes, of course, Canada, that sort of thing, our philosophy never wavers. We are not, you know, Viking is not trying to be everything to everyone. We focus on, of course, English speaking when you're on our ships, mature couples, you know, very curious travelers and really destination focused, as I had already, already mentioned. We're a highly inclusive product. We don't nickel and dime you or anything like that. We don't say the cruise is this, the port charges are this. It's just the cruise price and that is all. Um, and we are really an efficient, an efficient operator as well. We own and operate all of our ships, our transfers, everything from kind of start to finish. So you will have an awesome, super, super experience on, on with Viking. Now, now you'll see it once you get on our ships, we really have these serene kind of Scandinavian spaces. If you know at all, our founder, he is from the Scandinavia, Scandinavia area, Norway up there, and it, very kind of simple elegance. Now it is not, you're not gonna find the butlers, the white glove service, anything like that on Viking. It's very country club casual. It's a very relaxed atmosphere, very comfortable. Um, you'll see uh, the river, the river atrium is the top picture. The ocean is the bottom. It is very, very kind of that open light filled spaces, very Scandinavian. You're gonna notice the attention to detail when you're on our ships. I was, I was fortunate enough to, to go to Milwaukee uh, last month and go on our, um, our expedition ship, the Octantis. Um, and Octantis is one of our newest ships, uh, our expedition ships. All I did was tour the ship and it is unbelievable, the attention to detail. Not only are the handrails, when you go up and down the staircases are wrapped in leather as an example, and and, and the ports of call, you're just walking along and the ports of call were on the tile or in the tile on the floor. So just the, the small little details like that really make it a very comfortable, comfortable um, experience. 
Uh, now, uh, kind of uh, moving on, honestly, Viking likes to make sure that your onshore experiences are comfortable. Now, what I what I like might be a little bit more active, something like that. Now, what other people might like might not be what I like. So what Viking has done is really differentiated our onshore experiences. Now, every time you're in a port, we include, a, there is a, a shore excursion included. So, and you'll be able to, and they divide everyone up based on, based on your activity level or based on really what you wanna have more of a relaxing time, or maybe you wanna be more active and have the, the faster walking experience too. You can do really any of those things. Now we divided it up between local life and really what that is, is you can go to maybe a home visit or a you know, farmer's market home visit, something like that. Or, or you can do one of the included excursions that's also working world. Maybe you're more interested in the economy and something how something works, or you can visit a local factory or something like that. Now we also opt, offer optional ex, uh, excursions, which we call privileged access. These are our optional excursions that are a, an additional fee. However, they do, the kind of open doors to places that you wouldn't normally be able to go to. It's really a privileged access that Viking has cur curated these relationships with the local destinations that they're just, we're just able to get you into places and kind of behind, behind closed doors, that sort of thing, um, and really get to the heart of um, things that you're not, you're not normally able to buy or able to purchase or anything like that. Now, this is one of my favorite slides. And why is that? Is because most people tell you what they do. We do this, this, and this. Now, Viking, we're telling you what we don't do. So we don't have casinos on board. We have small small ships. Honestly, don't they don't fit on the ships, but we purposely did that too, because casinos, in order to open a casino, you have to be so far out at sea. And we're focused on the destination. We wanna be close to those vineyards and the hillsides and that sort of thing. So the casinos just aren't important. Um, no children, absolutely no children under 18 years of old, 18 years of age, excuse me, no charge for Wi-Fi. One of my one of my favorite things is that there's no entrance fee for ent no entrance fee for the spa on any of our, our our ships, whether it's river, ocean, expedition, that sort of thing. There's no entrance no entrance fee for the spa. There obviously are fees for um there are fees for um, the services. If you want to get a massage or things like that, there are fees for that, obviously, but you can go in and use the spa on Ocean and Expedition without actually paying a fee. So you can use use the, the sauna, you can use the, the hot tub, that sort of thing. There are absolutely no inside state rooms. This is really, really important given health and safety protocols now as well. Each stateroom has its own ventilation system as well. So you can rest assured that you'll feel absolutely safe and, and healthy while you're on board our ships. There's no smoking. And because we do have um, such small ships, it's, um, such, it's such an intimate, um, relaxing experience. There are no lines. Nobody wants to wait in line for, for food or whatever it is on, uh, while you're on board. It is, it's going to be a very, very relaxing experience. And like I had mentioned already, no formal nights, butlers, white butlers or white gloves, anything like that. It is just country club casual, just a very, very relaxing experience. Now our Viking um, kind of inclusive value, I had already mentioned you, you get one, ashore, one shore excursion at each port. All your onboard meals are absolutely included. Now I'll go through this in a little bit as well, but you have your choice of multiple dining venues. And with that, some of them might require uh, reservations, but there is no additional charge. You're not gonna get an upcharge for your wine or beverages at dinner. Those are all included, wine, beer, and soft drinks at, at mealtimes. And if you don't, just for the specialty restaurants, there is no fee. There, the specialty restaurants just might require that reservation. There's no charge for bot, the bottled water on board, free Wi-Fi, And if you do a pre and post, we uh, have first class hotels as well. All, like I had mentioned before, all port charges and government taxes are already included in the cruise fare. Now let's get to the fun part, obviously. Let's just talk about a few of these itineraries. Um, this, is, this is going to be one of our most famous itineraries, not famous, oh my goodness, most popular itineraries, uh, the Grand European Tour. It does cover 
three three rivers, the Rhine, the Danube, the Rhine, Main, and Danube, um, 15 days, 12 guided tours, and four countries. Now, anytime you do see our itineraries and you see the, the city name listed twice, it is going to be an overnight in that city, as an example, Vienna and Budapest here. Now, in this Grand European tour, the, the reason for this, po the, the popularity of this tour is because it combines two of our smaller smaller itineraries into one. Um, we have one that I'm going to be showing you shortly, the Romantic Danube, as well as the Rhine Getaway. And this is kind of both of those put together. When people want to do, want to do, I don't want to give up, I don't want to give up um, Budapest, or I don't want to give up something else, they just combine them into this one. So that's why there's, this one's the 15 day uh, Grand European Tour. Now, the, I'm just going to go over a few highlights here. Kinderdijk is one of the most um, one of the most well known um, ports for the windmills. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's the most photographed and most famous windmills in the world. So that's one of the the highlights here. Now, if you're visiting Cologne as well, Cologne is the next port of call. Just a little tip: um, if you were have yourself a, a beverage, maybe a beer at the local local restaurant, um, do make sure that you put your coaster on top of your beverage if you're getting close to the bottom because they will just automatically refill it. That's just the way they are there in Cologne. They're kind of fun loving, um, fun loving group of um, culture there. Um, but if you, unless you wanna keep drinking and keep drinking and keep drinking beer, you're gonna wanna put your coaster on top of your beer so they don't keep refilling it. So just something, a, a good tip there in Cologne. All right, the Rhine Getaway. This is kind of known as our cath castles and cathedrals. Absolutely um, gorgeous itinerary. This is another one of our number one itineraries. Like I said, this one and, and the Romantic Danube put together for that grand European tour. Now this one is um, eight days, six guided tours in four countries. It also goes to the Kinderdijk and Cologne there that I just men mentioned. But I'm gonna point out Breisach. And why I wanna point out Breisach is it's really known for kind of its black forest, the black forest excursion but more, more specifically, the Black Forest cake. Now, uh, something you definitely want to try while you're there in Breisach, Germany, because it kind of has some, some cherries, some light cream. It's a very chocolate cake. So definitely something that you want to um, take in there in Breisach. It's known for that. So there's also the picture of the itinerary there. Like I said, it's eight days. You'll see lots of castles and cathedrals as you sail down the Rhine on the getaway there. Now, this is the Romantic Danube, um, eight days, five guided tours in three countries. Now, this is the other half of that grand European tour. It goes from Budapest to Regensburg. And now keep in mind, all of our itineraries can be done in the reverse. So you can start in Regensburg and go to Budapest as well. So it just kind of depends on what, what, you, um, what you desire there. But as, as I had mentioned, there are three cities here that we overnight in. We overnight in Budapest, we overnight in Vienna, as well as Regensburg. So you get that extra time in port, extra time in, a, in the destination. It's really, when you're in Regensburg, one of the must sees or must do's in there, do's at Regensburg. I actually have a colleague that grew up there and he said, you have to go to the old sausage kitchen there. You order them in, you order the sausages in three, six, nine or 12. And uh, cause they're kind of like mini little, mini sausages. So go there, definitely have the sausages. Apparently he's, he's obviously German and you can't keep Germans away from their sausage, right? <laughs> so, so he, he, that was a good tip from, from my colleague. Now here's just a, a slide that kind of shows you the variety of different itineraries that your, your travel leaders market square advisor can help you with. Now these are multiple, multiple itineraries in Europe. Um, our 22 and 23 voyages. We do offer Christmas um, itineraries as well. Now keep in mind those book really, really, really fast. So definitely reach out to your advisor um, to get one of those Christmas itineraries booked um, to do the Christmas markets in Europe, which are unbelievable absolutely unbelievable it's definitely an experience like i said there's some of france there as well france's finest um and paris in the heart of normandy a lot of world war ii history of course and then southeast asia and europe as or sorry egypt of course europe um and egypt as well to go see the pyramids now here's just a quick overview of our long ships and what they look like now like i had mentioned all of the our our staterooms are exterior outside staterooms. So you'll notice those veranda suites there with a 
with the walkout balcony for some of them. The sun deck on top, of course, but there's a little walking track, the Viking lounge and bar. Of course, the restaurant is where, where the main meals are there. The Aquavit Terrace is what White Viking is very is well known for. It is kind of just that kind of relaxing area out there at the bow of the ship. 198 guests. We do have four decks. There's 95 staterooms of just a very comfortable um, atmosphere here. Now, here is a look at one of our veranda staterooms. This is a walkout stateroom, but you can, there's enough room where the, the bed is high enough where you can put your luggage right under the bed, which is great. There are 110 and 220 plugs as well as a hair dryer. So make sure just you can bring your regular um, charging devices and that sort of thing. Um, and you have a little desk here as well. So just a very comfortable space, nice open area and light filled space here. Now Viking has, is we're known as the world's leading small ship travel company, of course, but this slide actually needs to be updated because last week, um, this Condé Nast Traveler, we, we won both number one river and number one ocean. We're the only one cruise, the only cruise line to do that, but we also just won it from Travel and Leisure, the same award for number one river and cruise. So we're very, very proud to be, to be honored with both of those awards um, for, from Condé Nast Traveler and Traveler travel and leisure. Now moving on to our ocean ships. Now ocean has, we kind of took a nod from our, what we were doing right, what, what our guests love about, about our Viking river and applied it to the ocean ships. Obviously the bigger, bigger ship, um, but definitely still big enough where it's small enough where it can fit, fit through, fit through in certain ports and, and get right, right into the destination, but big enough to of course have, um, have an, a pool, infinity pool off the back. The Aqua Beat Terrace, similar to River of course, is there as well. Um, several alternative restaurants. We do have the spa on ocean um, as well. There's a little bit of a, a little sports deck and a main pool with a retractable dome on top. Again, with all exterior and outside state rooms here on ocean. All right, and this is the three deck atrium. This is where you're gonna enter, enter the ship um, here and there's kind of live music and you'll see that the picture of the ship up there, the picture in a picture if you want, is, if, if you so anyway, if you wanna say anyways, but that is actually a big screen and that image changes throughout the day. So it's something to really, really see kind of like, like I had mentioned that attention to detail. As you can see, there's def definitely a lot of areas to kind of lounge around and, and relax throughout, throughout your voyage. Now the Explorer's Lounge is one of our most popular spaces on the ship, not only for its kind of panoramic, panoramic views, just unobstructed views, but also kind of just for its, its for the evening, for the evening time where you can kind of come and socialize, have a have a beverage with your, your friends and that sort of thing that you're making on the cruise. Now it is a two deck Explorer's Lounge. So you can see the stairwell there that has the glass. So it's unobstructed views, of course, that has the glass handrails um, up to the second floor there as well. So very, very pretty. Now this is the main pool that has the retractable roof there. So of course, in the nicer climates, we can open that up. And now this is a picture of the spa. Now, like I had mentioned, just to reiterate, the spa is there's no entrance fee for the spa. You can come and use these services. Now you can't actually, you can, you can make appointments um, for a massage and things like that. And those are the paid services. But because of COVID, just keep in mind too, it's similar to the restaurants. You do still have, in order to go into the spa, you still have to sign up for a time that you want to go in there. So they can limit the number of, the number of guests using the spa at one time. So that is the only kind of restriction on the spa. They used to be completely open, but because of COVID restrictions, we had to kind of limit that. So keep that in mind. If the spa is something you want to do, you definitely want to sign up for that. And you can sign up for it every day if you want. If it's really something that's that you love to do, go for it. All right, and here's the unbelievable dining choices you have at sea on our ocean ships. There are eight different options. Like I had mentioned, um, for the specialty restaurants, which are Manfredi's and the chef's table pictured here, those are going to be your specialty restaurants that you have to make reservations for. Mamson's, Norwegian Deli, you know, you definitely have to try the waffles there. They're unbelievable. Uh, the Winter Garden is kind of known, the area known where you have an afternoon tea and kind of just relax. The World Cafe in Aquavit Terrace you can go there for kind of a breakfast, breakfast, lunch, that sort of thing. It's a, 
I hate to call it a buffet. It's, it is a buffet, but it's not because they do custom orders um, food for you as well. So it is a buffet, but it's served to you. So uh, there's a pool grill where I like to always say, I get, you know, you can get your nachos, that sort of thing. And of course, 24 hour room service. Now the restaurant is kind of that, the, the place that you'll go for, you know, your main meals and that sort of thing um, in, in there. And you don't need um, reservations for that. All right, here's a few voyage highlights for oceans. One of our most popular itineraries is the iconic Western Med, uh, Western Mediterranean, of course, Barcelona to Rome or the reverse. Now it, um, we do overnight there in Barcelona um, and overnight in Florence and Italy as well. All right, and here's a picture of that same itinerary on the Mediterra Mediterra <laughs> Mediterranean, of course. Um, and you'll notice in the, in the map, the, the open circles, the white circles are the ones, the cities that we, we um, overnight in. All right, and another one of our popular itineraries is Alaska and the Inside Passage. Now, one of the things I like to point out about Alaska, and it's seaward to Vancouver, of course, 11 days, seven guided tours here in, of course, the two different countries. But you can do a pre-Rocky um, Mountaineer um, train ride here, and then maybe a post in Denali. So that's something to definitely pre-extension and post that you'd want to talk to your uh, Market Square advisor about, because those are awesome. Make it just kind of extend your trip a little bit, add a train itinerary up front, maybe add something in Denali off the back end um, and really, really make it a trip of a lifetime here. Now, um, you'll notice with Alaska, we can, like I had mentioned, because our ships are so small, we can really sail really, really close to, to, to land here. So you'll be able to see it all along the way, um, all along your itinerary here. You'll see that we have the scenic cruising as well as the icy straight point there in Alaska as well on this itinerary. Now, um, another one, believe it or not, Iceland has been huge, a uh, very, very busy up there. We circumnavigate Iceland with our, with our ships. So um, it's up to you. You can, <laughs> you can pronounce these Icelandic names if you like. I, I got Ray, Reykjavik down, but um, the other ones you'll be visiting in Iceland, of course, going around at these ports of call um, all around Iceland and it would absolutely stunning scenery here. Um, and the, it's on these coastal towns, cascading waterfalls and just pristine fjord landscapes, unbelievable um, trip here around Iceland. Now we do have voyages anywhere from about seven, seven to eight days to 138 days. So if you're interested in a world cruise, we do have 138 days that has 57 guided tours in 28 countries. Now, let's just say maybe 138 days is a little too long. Maybe you can shave off about 10 days. Um, if, you, if you decide to leave, you originally departs out of Fort Lauderdale, but if you want to leave out of LA instead, it'll shave off about 10 days of that world cruise. So if 10 days, you know, you want to take 10 days off that, that'll, um, that'll help. So it's, it's a lot of fun. You get to go to a lot of amazing, amazing destinations on this, um, but definitely talk to your Market Square travel, um, travel advisor um, to get you booked on that. All right, here's our, a few, a few um, journeys of discovery for ocean, or a few of our itineraries for ocean. I, I had mentioned, of course, we go up to Scandinavia, of course, Bergen to London, that one of our most popular is into the midnight sun there. British Isles Explorer is another really popular itinerary. Now we also go to the Mediterranean and Adriatic as well. Uh, so keep that in mind. Like I said, all over the world, Rome to Venice, Venice to Insta in Istanbul um, there as well. Now we do the Americans in the Caribbean as well, um, Caribbean island treasures, round trip Miami, but Asia and Australia. And keep in mind too, we offer ocean and river voyages. So you can combine the two. Um, you can do the Rhine and the Viking shores, shores and fjords and the Grand European and Viking fjords. Now, just keep in mind when you do combine the river and ocean, we make you swip, swim from one ship to the other. So no, I'm just, I'm honestly just kidding. We don't make you swim. So <laughs> we'll take care of the transfers from one ship to the other, of course, but um, a lot of fun if you wanna com combine river and ocean there. 
now just to, to go over our Viking expedition, we do have two expedition vessels, uh, two ships, the Viking Octantis and the Viking Polaris. Uh, Viking Octant Octantis is actually sailing right now through the Great Lakes. Um, we, we have so many awesome things on board these. They are polar class ships meant to go sailing through the Arctic um, and those waters um, and and really have the stabilization and technology on board so the ship doesn't isn't 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 going to sway that much going through the the rough drake passage so um we are we do partner with several research institute institutes and scientific partners scott polar research institute university of cambridge and the others here listed here as well because we have scientists on board that do actual research on each voyage we we um we we, we do so there's labs there's a there's a lab on board and you can you can shadow those scientists if you're really curious about what they're doing and what they're researching that's that's part of part of the expedition crews is to shadow those scientists kind of follow them around watch them release the, the weather balloon um, and that sort of thing so it's really really interesting now the Viking expedition has the Finsa Terrace out there, um, so you can enjoy the outdoors. But you'll notice in that Finsa Terrace photo there, the um, the the seats kind of going off to the right. That is our aula. It's called our ala. It is the auditorium. So I'm just going to get a little drink here. The auditorium has a retractable screen, so you can kind of see the screen there on the top of the auditorium as well. Um, and that screen will come down, go up and down based on maybe a, a scientist is doing a, a doing a presentation about what he's what he's researching on board. Um, and when when it's not the time, not during that time, the screen goes back up. So it's it's, it's super super um, nice, very li nice life filled spaces there. Now there's also the explorers lounge like we had on the ocean. We also um, brought that over to the expedition ships. Again, it's two floors, um, unobstructed un unobstructed views there, and one of one of the most popular places on the ship. Now expedition ships have Nordic balcony staterooms, and what's special about these, and I'll um, I'll show you the picture of the stateroom as well is they have it has floor to ceiling windows you can see in this picture but um the windows do open up so you can have better pictures right from your room it's unbelievable um and when i was on the octantis it is it's not like you have to like click it click it up and down or anything like that it is simply a button to go up and down it's very very handy um, and expedition expedition central is kind of where the scientists come and um, you can talk about your expeditions talk about what they're doing and plan where you're going and kind of see the data that's coming in for the weather balloon and things like that it's kind of the planning and and talking um discussion part of the expeditions there on on the expedition um cruise excuse me and this is the aquavit terrace also there on the expedition ship, very similar to ocean and river as well. But you'll see those giant windows that open, like giant windows, and it's actually a door as well. So kind of just bringing the outside in and um, being able to enjoy, enjoy that on the expedition ship. Now, there are three pools, three infinity pools on the expedition ship. What's special about these pools is they are all different temperatures. Now, I wouldn't suggest starting out in the warmer one and going to the cooler ones, but hey, it's up to you however you want to enjoy the pools but you'll notice too in the back of that there is there is an indoor pool as well so there's the there's the three three pools out back with the three different temperatures and then the one with the retractable indoor outdoor swimming there uh, with a retractable roof and this is another picture of the spa one special thing about the spa is that we have we call it a nordic spa so while you're there enjoying the sauna, enjoying the, the hot tub and that sort of thing, enjoying the spa, you can enjoy what's called our snow grotto. You can go and get snowed on. Now I know I'm from Minnesota and we can go out in January and get snowed on anytime we want. But if you're on the expedition ship um, here, you can go and enjoy uh, the snow grotto. Apparently it's very good for your complexion. It's very good for, excuse me, I, I moved, moved ahead. Uh, very good for your your circulation and that sort of thing to go from hot to cold to hot to cold three times is I think what they recommend. So go from the sauna to the snow grotto, sauna to snow grotto. Um, so that's just a little tip there that you can go use in the, in the spa there. Now we have fun toys on board our expedition ships. Um, our founder is, is very, very fond of the Beatles. So yes, we have two six-seater 
yellow submarines. So, um, so you can reserve space on the submarines to go to go under the water. Um, in certain destinations, some in some places, based on um, well, as an example, the Jones Act in the Great Lakes, they won't let us use the submarines, unfortunately. But there are definitely destinations and different ports that we're, where we can launch the submarines. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, we have a military fleet of pro, pro zodiacs, two seater kayaks, which awesome about these kayaks is that you can see in the picture here actually that um, the woman is using both her hands of course for the binoculars they are ocean kayaks so they have pedal oh, they of course have the the paddle as well but you can pedal the kayak it's kind of like a paddle boat but it is a kayak so you'll have your hands free to take pictures use binoculars that sort of thing it's very a, a very kind of thoughtful um, good experience now we also have these 12 seater we, we should probably update this picture it's a, um, what we call them are SOBs now um, special operation boat um, and these actually they have suspended suspended um, seats so they're, it's a very comfortable ride when you're going through the water um, and we you load all these vessels or load all these toys right inside the expedition ship and and then they kind of slowly kind of um, um, go out on the in the hangar out into the water so it's a very very comfortable experience you don't have to worry about getting on them in the rocky waters or anything like that it's it's very very easy to get on and off these these fun toys and they are all just so you know free to use now here's a better picture of the expedition um, stateroom of course all exterior um, staterooms again outside staterooms um, and there's that Nordic balcony. So that whole half the window does come down. It is, it is a push button up and down. You can take some pictures and put it back up because it'll probably be kind of chilly there in the Arctic. Now here's a few of our expedition itineraries. Our Antarctic Explorer actually just went on sale. Literally, I got an email, I think yesterday about this. So um, if you were looking to go to the Arctic in October or November, um, definitely talk to your Travel Leaders Market Square advisor because this just went on sale. Um, so keep an, um, keep an eye on that. It goes to Buenos Aires to Ushuaia. Now you'll notice day four through 10 on here. It is 13 days, two countries, but it does days four through 10. There are six days where it just says explore Antarctica. Arctica. And the reason for that is we don't specifically say where we're going to stop. We are going to stop. We are going to go to port. We are going to get on the glaciers and the, and the ice and everything there. We're going to let you explore and get off the ship and that sort of thing. But because it's the Arctic and it's very unpredictable, they don't actually say where we're going to stop, where you're going to stop. So it's a lot of fun, actually. Um, they'll They'll um, they'll announce it. They, hey, we're going to stop here tomorrow, um, based on based on the water and that sort of thing. So cruising through the Drake Passage, like I said, it is one of the roughest seas out there. But our ship has stabilizers, fin stabilizers, and everything on board to make it an absolutely comfortable experience. So that's nothing you have to worry about. Now the expedition ships also go through the Great Lakes, like I had mentioned. We have these itineraries, Niagara and the Great Lakes, the Great Lakes Explorer and undiscovered Great Lakes as well. Like I said, it does go through Duluth, um, but also Mil it starts off in of Milwaukee and Thunder Bay, um, goes to Georgian Bay, um, Traverse City, Mackinac Island, unbelievable at Mackinac Island because there, there are no vehicles there. Um, it's very, very like you can, you can go on bike and by foot and that sort of thing. Um, these are awesome, awesome itineraries. And the first time a ship of our size has gone through the Welland Canal there. So, um, and we go through the Sioux, the Sioux Lock as well, of course. Um, a, lot of, a lot of awesome, awesome itineraries through the Great Lakes if you'd like to stay a little closer to home. Now, um, the final, last but not least, the Viking Mississippi. This is our newest ship. It is um, down in New Orleans as we speak. We will be um, sailing in August of this year. It will be our first sailing. Again, we took all the best things from, from Viking River and put it into the Viking Mississippi. You will not see a paddleboard <laughs> paddle uh, wheel on the back of our ship whatsoever. Um, they're, they're unbelievably gorgeous staterooms here, and I'll show you here shortly as well. These are the itineraries, five itineraries sailing along the Mississippi's waters. 
Eight Days, um, New Orleans, Southern Charms, Heart of the Delta, Mississippi holiday season. Now keep in mind, this is going to be the only season we do that holiday season. That's what I'm told at least right now. So that's something you're interested in. It is in December of this year. I believe it is almost sold out. So definitely reach out to your um, Market Square Travel Advisor about that. Um, these are selling out very, very quickly. America's Great River, you can go all the way from St. Paul to down to, down to New Orleans. It's from mid-June to approximately mid September to mid-October there. And America's Heartland, of course, St. Paul to St. Louis. All awesome, awesome itineraries. Um, just something I wanted to point out on the, the Mississippi, you can do the holiday in Graceland. This is an optional tour. This is a picture, of course, of Graceland um, decorated for the holidays. And that's Elvis's 15 foot white couch, believe it or not, 15 feet. That's crazy. Um, but anyways, I've, I've heard, been told that this, this um, optional tour in Graceland is a really, really awesome tour. So something to take advantage of if you're able to get on that um, holiday itinerary. And there is, our, of course, the Viking Mississippi. All right, and it has overall length of 450 feet, but really I wanted to point out 193 staterooms of 386 guests. The, the biggest, um, the best crew to guest ratio that you'll ever find in the cruise industry right here from a, a 2.6 of crew, of crew to guest ratio. So um, very familiar to our ocean staterooms. Um, we have two new stateroom categories for the Mississippi and every, Every stateroom features a veranda or French balcony with spacious bathrooms. One thing that Viking is known for, and I'm glad that this one mentioned the bathroom because um, Viking is known for having heated bathroom floors. So that's something that people just rave about when they're on our ships. Um, and attention to detail, all the amenities, a lot of people don't necessarily like to wear their glasses in the shower. So um, um, so all the, the font on the shampoos is, is bigger, so it's easier to read and things like that. So the really, really paying attention to those, those little details um, to make your voyage um, comfortable. And then of course, um, exterior facing stateroom lay layout and there's really just attention to detail on there. And now I wanted to mention before I wrap everything up here, um, there is an exclusive offer, $100 shipboard credit per person if you book in the next 14 days with Travel Leaders Market Square Advisor. Um, so make sure you reach out to them that you can't get that $100 shipboard credit uh, per person anywhere else besides working with them. So certainly reach out to them. Um, and I know Nora will pop back on here shortly as well. We'll go through any questions anyone has um, as well. So go ahead, Nora. <laughs> Well, wonderful job, Rebecca. I was riveted watching the whole thing. I'm super excited about the new expedition ships and the Mississippi because everybody here in Minnesota loves the idea of taking that big, long journey all the way down to New Orleans. That would be like one of my dream ships. I think it would be so fun. If there's any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Otherwise, um, I, I just wanted to thank you again for coming and reminding everybody that that $100 shipboard credit per person, what are some of the things that they can use that shipboard credit for? That is a great question, Nora. You guys can use it for optional shore excursions. You can use it for the beverage package if you'd like. Um, um, just anything really on board that you can use, you can use that shipboard credit for. So yeah. Wonderful. Good. Well, I don't see any questions, but I do want to thank you again, Rebecca, for joining us today. Thank you all for paying attention. And please feel free to reach out to your travel advisor. We would love to talk to you about your next Viking journey. So thanks, everybody. Have thank a great you, afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye now.